It's me, Rain. Um, it's just a little review on WrestleMania 29, um, the biggest event of the year for wrestling. Um, was it really though? Not really. It felt like uh, didn't really feel like WrestleMania, if you know what I mean. Felt more not like a Raw but like m more non-worthwhile pay-per-views the matches yeah, they were alright they uh, could have been better um, so let's run you through the card so we got my notes are over here so if you see me looking over here my notes um, up first with Big Show Randy Orton Sheamus vs The Shield um, it was a all right match. Um, I mean, there was a good spot with the suicide dive and the um, rolling sentons as well. Uh, what Sheamus did looked really good, um, and um, it looked at that point that they were going to win the match, sort of thing. Um, and then um, got a bit screw jobby a little bit. I don't know. Um, but um, I don't think Ambrose sold the spear what Big Show did on all three of the Shield during the match either very well. He sort of just sat there holding it. Yeah, I don't know. Just didn't look good enough for me for a WrestleMania. Um, the um, RKO top notch, beautiful spot. Um, Love. That was like one of my favourite moments. Um, well, it was my favourite moment of the match. And then um, um, he gets hit with a spear by um, I think it was Rollins um, or Reigns. I can't. I don't know the names of a shield very well because I haven't watched Raw very often since I have no computer anymore, sort of thing. Um, um, so. That happened, um, and um, it looked like a crap ending to the match, just the spear sort of thing. I don't know, my opinion then. Big Show, knockout punch, Sheamus and Orton. Um, Orton and Sheamus should have been higher up on the card, in my opinion. Um, I don't know, um, seems like too many part time wrestlers got higher up on the card, in my opinion. Um, then you had the first Rock Cena promo of the night. There was only three, which thankfully was enough. But it went on for way too long. That the first promo, actually, the first promo for it, which just went on way too long. And we sort of seen it all before the Rock Cena thing, so I don't know. And then we had the. Uh, oh, it was an okay promo, though. Um, then we had Mark Henry versus Ryback. As you can see from the expression on my face, I was bored shitless. Why was this on the card? That is the question. The fans were cheering Mark Henry to begin with. The fans were, I don't know, weird that night turn my note over um, it was slow it was boring you had that twitter bar across the screen for the first time of the night and um, Zack Ryder tweeted that Miz won the Intercontinental in a can can't even pronounce it at the moment it's all through um, Intercontinental Championship IC title from Wade Barrett on the pre-show I would have liked to see that match on the actual card. <laughs> the IC title, Intercontinental title, has been demoted so much it doesn't even get on the card anymore. It's disappointing. And from the highlights what we saw later on, it looked like a good match, so I don't know. Should have been on the main card. Um, uh, yeah, um, it ended with Henry sort of 
falling on Rayback when uh, Rayback went for his finisher shell shot, and um, it ended. Uh, yeah, at the right time, possibly. Uh, maybe it could have been shorter. <laughs> Uh, just my opinion, I was not into the match at all. Um, Henry went back to attack Ryback afterwards and then Ryback shell shocked them to send the, well not send the hand, fans home happy because they're still there. We got like five of the matches left, but yeah. Um, up next we had the uh, tag title match between Dolph Ziggler and Big Langston versus Kane and Daniel Bryan, Team Helno. Um, I'm a big fan of Dolph Ziggler, don't know why he's doing the tag team wrestling at the moment, he's a great wrestler, great seller, but I don't know what's going on, but writers need to sort something out, because it's making me turn off a bit, like, same the same, he should be higher up, let's put it that way. Um, Biggie Lanston looked impressive, surprisingly. Um, but he doesn't look like a heel. He looks more like a baby face. If you get me, he hasn't got the face for it. He looks a bit like Bobby Lashley, in my opinion. Um, would he serve? He'll serve better as a baby face once they turn him eventually, because that's what we'll do. Dolph Ziggler. I can see it happening. Dolph Ziggler and him go for a while. They fall out and. Um, Dolph slaps him and then Big E Langston and kicks the crap out of him, pretty much. Um, but, um, okay Matt, good match I think, um, the, uh, yeah, um, not really anything I can remember from it, but it was an alright match. It was fast paced, uh, choke slam, head, diving headbutt ending. Nice. Um, I think the only problem in the match was um, when Dolph Ziggler overshot his. I think I'm sure that's zigzag what he used. Yeah, on um, Kane, and he sort of overshot it, and it looked a bit. I don't know. Oh, not that great. Um, next up, we have Fandango versus Chris Jericho. Um, Fandango. Has it looked like Razor Ramon? He, I don't know. I think it was the hair, and I think he was like chewing something. It, he looked like Razor Ramon, and I think he had like that sort of um, waistcoat sort of thing. Razor Ramon sort of guy. Um, started out pretty brawly, and I don't know. It was nice match. Uh, um, Fandango sold every move what Jericho did pretty well. Um, he's gonna do something eventually. Don't really like the gimmick much but he can go somewhere. Um, he hit an awesome leg drop um, in the match, Fandango from the top. I love seeing a, the guillotine leg drop used. Um, reminded me of um, Psychosis and WCW using it a lot so uh, Pretty nice. Um, um, the finish was a bit botched, I think. Um, the Lion Salt, what Jericho did, sort of missed Fandango, but, and Fandango had his knees up, but it didn't do anything, and it just looked really weird. And then the finish was weak, so to speak. It was just, I don't know, um, floppy. Pretty much. Um, okay, when we get the highlights of the pre-show, and it was good. I like the highlights. It, it should have been on the main card, in my opinion. Um, then another Rock Cena promo for second, um, mainly focusing on the Rock. And then, um, then um, after that, you got the um, WrestleMania moments video on the screen. Then. Um, P. Diddy, Diddy, Sean Combs, whatever you want to call the guy, um, sings, and I was bored, and um, WWE, to be a P. 
PG company um, use a guy who used the word nigger in the song in a song on the show. So is that PG? It's not really something what people want to hear. It just made WWE look bad. Very bad. Um, then we have the Swagger Del Leo match. I can't do it very well. The Del Leo. Um, the whole Zeb Cota thing. It reminds me of Mohammed Hassan, but for America. But he gets booed anyway, Jack Swagger. So, so you can't be a patriotic in a country at all. It doesn't matter what country it is. Because they're just a bunch of racists that looks sort of thing in it. I like Jack Swagger, but he needs to drop this sort of gimmick. It putting me off him a bit, so. Um, the match. Um, the match. Uh, uh, I can't remember. Um, I think JBL says um, that Del Rio comes from the greatest family in Mexican history. Um, he forgot the Guerreros, pretty much. I, I think I consider them, as well as many, I think the majority of the wrestling world, consider them the best wrestling family, greatest wrestling family in Mexico. But, um, yeah, um, they had a nice ankle lock reversal into the cross arm breaker. It, it was nice, looked good. Um, but uh, match for a world heavyweight title, Jack Swagger, I don't know, it just, the two good wrestlers, they gel, but it just didn't really suit me, it was a, it was a, okay match, uh, you're seeing a theme how I'm just saying, they're okay matches, but not really wow factors. Um, so um, that ended with um, I don't know. It was too quick for the world title match. Okay, so let's move on from that. Um, Undertaker CM Punk um, feels a bit early for it to be on the card. It's only the sixth match. Um, I don't know. This it felt a bit early to be there for some reason. Uh, but then you had the two main events, all ones with Lance and Triple H, and then Roxena scrapping the Brody Clay Tenso match with Damian Sandow, Cody Rhodes. Yeah, pretty glad that would scrap that would have boring, pretty much. Um, but um, Undertaker, CM Punk build up for the match over the weeks, sort of like. And there's Connor, my little brother, crying. Um, so, um, it the build up for it. Uh, uh, let's just say I was annoyed at WWE for using overexposing Paul Barrett de be um, death as they always do it when someone dies they expose it and use it in a storyline and it annoys me it's, you know they don't need to you're supposed to be top notch, top notch writers you can think of a better storyline than that. I'm sure we've seen it at least three or four times now. Like, people's death being ex like used in storylines. Um, then I thought the court personality lie being played was nice touch. Um, 
the Undertaker entrance with hands rising through the um, smoke look nice. The match. Uh, the fans were really into it. Thankfully, um, fans weren't, didn't really have a, that much of a reaction for the night, I don't think. Uh, well, what's happened there? Okay. Just camera went back to the start for some reason. I don't know what happened. Um, um, yeah, it was all nice. Um, the um, Undertaker controlled early on, CM Punk then took control. Uh, did old school on Undertaker. That worked really well. I mean, it draws heat, it symbolizes stuff, it just looks nice. Then we have the uh, choke slam on CM Punk. It was awesome. It was nice, it was good. Top notch choke slam. Um, but um, the table didn't break when um, CM Punk did the elbow took away from the match a little bit so I don't know uh, WWE get better table no get worse tables I don't know because tables aren't meant to break but these tables are so I say get better tables but that means they should be stronger get worse tables get something what will break at least it breaks later on get better way um, the Hell's Gate Anaconda Vice sequence, nice, it was good, good timing. We saw a few of them sort of sequences in the night between like Swagger and Del Rio with the armbar across arm, armbar and the ankle lock transitions and this as well. I think there's one later on in the night as well. Um, yeah, with the sharpshoe and the FTF and the um, no, it wasn't the FTF. He went into it was cross feet up. It, Got too confused with Rock Cena match. I'll go on to that later. Um, GTS Tombstone, GTS Tombstone, like just reversals from them. Excellent, and um, I liked it. Good match. Uh, it's, it's like my favourite match of the night. It was. I say that I gave it a nine out of ten when I was scoring them. At, myself but remember it it doesn't feel it was an it was a good match but not a WrestleMania match. It didn't feel like WrestleMania still. Next up it um then we had another Rock Cena promo. Uh only the third but again why is a free promo during the night? We know what's coming up. You've built it so much most of the fans are really caring about it, so whatever. Then we have Brock Lesnar versus Triple H again. Um, was all right. Um, didn't get why Shawn Michaels came out and then Lesnar and Heyman, not Triple H. It just didn't really make sense to me why that happened. If you're gonna bring the person in Triple H's corner out, bring him out with you or before you, right before you, instead of the guy in your corner, then your opponent, then you. It didn't really do anything for me. Um, it was pretty much brawling match, nice sort of match. Um, it didn't need weapons though. I don't know why we needed to bring sledgehammers and chairs. It's like why uh, it's a no holds bar match and Brock Lesnar being a UFC champion. You think we could work with something better? Come on. Um, um, let's look at the notes again. Uh, um. It was a nice belly to belly outside. Um, that was quite nice. Um, the suplex breaking the table worked well. Uh, what else happened in the match? Um, got notes. Um, 
the um, fans were pretty quiet during the match. I don't know if that's just me or was it a view for everyone, but we didn't really get into this event that much, and 80,000 people were there. I don't know. And it's, uh, it was, uh, I don't know. So, we'll go down to the last page of notes. Almost over. Um, lots of suplexes in the match. They worked. They did well, you know. It, nice. Um, they use weapons. Boo. I mean, they don't need to. Just, meh. Uh, what else happened? Um, oh, um, Triple H botched the pedigree. They botched it a little bit. Um, he went for the pedigree and they fell, so, and then got up and did it anyway. So, that is that. Um, um, we um, did the Kimura quite a lot. Good, sort of, nice submission move. You know, real, actual submission. What actually hurts, can break arms. Um, the Kimura by Triple H and then being slammed onto the steps was nice. I like that a lot, you know. Maybe did it too much, but it was all right. Um, then the um, sledgehammer and then the pedigree on the steps for the win. Uh, all right, match. Seen it before. Probably will see it again. Most likely at SummerSlam. Or at Extreme Rules. You never know with them. Um, with writers, what they decide to do. We need to take the part-time wrestlers out. And only use them occasionally. And not put titles on them or do anything like that. So, um, we have the Hall of Fame um, thing. Um, um, did all of them deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? Yes, but Donald Trump? No. I don't get why we do that celebrity wing. It annoys me a little bit. Uh, he got booed, Donald Trump, but yeah. Other than Bruno San Martino and um, Bob Buckland, um, they were all quite modern. Starts like I say modern as in I remember watching them wrestle. And in previous years you had like um, George the Animal Steel and and uh, Jimmy Snook, uh, Rocky um, Johnson. I never saw them wrestle because I wasn't born. But these guys who were inducted did at the height of their career I was about five and remembered watching them so I mean it's nice that Bruno San Martino they're all in there Bruno San Martino is in there like a living legend whatever you know um, then we have Roxena um, trying to cut this quite short um, Rock has excellent pop you know um, fans like it but um, JBL gets a year wrong in um, his commentary, um, says um, WrestleMania 21 happened in 2004, when it actually happened in 2005. So, um, and he was wrestling Cena that year, so um, he's a, I don't know, didn't really, bad memory. You know, um, basic wrestling match. Uh, didn't really excite me that much. Um, I don't know. Fans weren't into it as much as they should have been. And this was the main event. And really summed up the WrestleMania, but it wasn't that sort of great, really. Um, they let the match down a lot, sort of, the fans early on, sort of thing. Uh, Cena used crossface, Cole 
thinks it's an STF. No, it was a crossface. JBL needed to correct you later on. Um, fans were really booing Cena, as they do. They were really behind Rock. Um, the first Rock Bomb, fans didn't really react that much. First AA, attitude adjustment, I still call it FU. Um, fans didn't really react much. So I'll let, they let the match down a lot, to be fair. Um, but people at Elbow got a reaction there, which was nice. And then we had the second rock bottom. Fans reacted. Um, but it didn't really excite me, because you saw a lot of reversals of vermin stuff. And it was like, okay, you're just using your finishers over and over. Have you not got a better move set? One of them things. Um, the AA on Rock the second time had a big reaction from the fans. But then he kicked out. Uh, Cena sort of taunted him doing the people's elbow sort of thing. And Rock did the five knuckle shuffle sort of thing. And they didn't actually hit them because the other guy got up sort of thing. Um, Lots of reversal from a rock bomb and AA and we saw enough of that and it just bored me, didn't excite me. Cena finally won the match with an attitude adjustment and I think it should have ended with a submission, to be honest. Um, after the match, they did a handshake and a hug and we just can't we just turn Cena heel? Fans want it. He gets booed anyway. It works better. I don't know. I don't know. Um, pay per view. Overall. Uh, I don't know. It didn't. It won't stay in my memory as a great WrestleMania. It will be a Wrestlemania which was okay um, they could have done a lot better a lot of guys lower down on the card could have been higher up on the card I think Randy Orton should have been in the world title match possibly it would have worked better instead of Jack Swagger uh, Miz Wade Barrett should have been on the main card instead of that right back Mark Henry you know um, so, it wasn't the best. Um, I'll go now. I'll see you at Extreme Rules. Well, the night after Extreme Rules and do another review of that. Um, thanks for watching, if you actually watched. Um, like, comment, subscribe to me. You know the deal. Um, share it with your friends, all that. Links are, will be at the bottom of my Twitter and um, Bob Topside Games, you know. so. Like, subscribe, all that. Thanks, guys.